Today I just want to make a quick video um, showing you some items I got on the Black Friday's deal at Home Depot. Got a lot of the Husky items as well as a couple other items. And then I picked up a couple items back there uh, from a garage sale. So we'll take a closer look at all of them. So I wanted to do this video as quick as possible just to get it out there because sometimes these items go quick and this is the first item I wanted to show with you uh, here and this is a four piece scraper set and these are nice I mean they're pretty big they are full length scrapers they measure about 12 inches there um, you got some smaller ones with the full handles this was half price and on sale for $9.97 how do you beat that? And if you see there, this isn't the Chinese junk. This is some made in Taiwan stuff. So four piece scraper set, $10, you cannot beat that. And lifetime warranty. You snap it, you break it, bring it in, they will warranty it. The next item I wanted to share with you is another half off deal. And this is a seven piece hook and pick set. And you can't beat this as well. These are the big picks. These are not small. Um, you know, for getting off hoses and um, pulling hoses and picking. These got the full size handles on them. And once again, let's take a look here. These are made in Taiwan. $10 or $9.97. Lifetime warranty. You snap it, you break it. Um, you can't beat that. I mean, that's basically, you know, a dollar and change a pick. Those are the two best deals I felt. Let's take a look at a couple others. So when they have these Black Friday deals, it's always good to get some gifts. And this is going to be a gift. Uh, we have a new homeowner in the family. And uh, you're always going to need one of these when you're buying a house. This is a stud finder. It's got a little level in it. It's got some picture hanger stuff as well as a um, looks like a pencil there. And this was 1997. I think it said it was regularly $25 without all the stuff in it. Same thing, another giftable item for a homeowner. This is the DeWalt 14-piece uh, black and gold drills. Uh, I like that it goes up to a half inch there and from 1 16th. And this was $10 as well. So a couple gift items there. This item I got for myself. This was $14.97. And this is the Milwaukee uh, squares and I love these um, this because it's got the small one in it I have one that's you know the larger size and it's plastic these look you know are definitely well made I'm not sure the material if it's aluminum or uh, what the material is but these are made in the USA and you get two of them there for $14.97 it's also got all the other spots inside of it for measuring and marking and then the final thing is this bag this 12 inch Husky bag, pretty nice. It's got, um, it's reinforced with like a wire around it. Uh, 12 inch bag with pockets inside and outside. And this was $5.97. And that is gonna be for either holding some extra like um, electro, um, electric tools, battery powered tools, but I might just keep it empty. And then like the other day I had to do a um, something in the house, change out a sink. I had to put all my tools, plumbing tools in a box and then carry it there. I could just use this to throw all my stuff for that project and, and then uh, bring it back. So those are the items at Home Depot wanted to get there's plenty of items, uh, videos, I should say, out there of the Black Friday deals. But I thought these were some really cool ones that I picked up. And uh, they won't last long. A lot of them were moving quick. So if you like any of those, get out there. Uh, let's take a look at what I picked up at a garage sale. So what stood out to me about this router is that it had a nice hard case on it. Uh, and I like that when you're getting power tools. Yeah, that's how I knew that this was a little bit older. Um, Sears doesn't do that anymore, obviously. Uh, they did that with the Made in the USA tools, and eventually they went to the bags and so forth. But that was one thing that kind of stood out to me. Then um, it also had in it some bits, which I was really excited about. So we'll take a look at all the stuff that came with it. But this is the router. It is a one and a half horsepower. Um, it lights up. It is made in the USA. I thought that was fantastic, and it looked like it was very lightly used. Um, so I figured, you know, hey, uh, let's make an offer on it. So went up to the guy and I said, what are you looking to get for it? He said 50 bucks. And I thought that was just too much. 
Um, and then, you know, we mentioned it had some components in it and whatnot. So I took a look in here. There's some router bits in here. These are um, the Chrome Edge. Those were some quality stuff craftsmen made back in the day. A lot of their taps were the Chrome Edge as well. So not a complete set, but there's some bits in there. And you made in the USA router bits are not cheap. And then there was some other ones here with some different ones. Looks like there's some screws in here and some hardware in there. And that was probably maybe to mount it under a table or something. But yeah, there's the nine piece router the bit set and then there was some bits inside of it so this look at this i don't know it says thirty dollars and 35 cents amanda bit wow so there was a few of these in there i don't know if that, they must be some high quality bits plunge bit quarter round bit so i had three of those in there and then there's just the typical little wrenches i guess that they use to attach the bits i thought this was so cool this was inside there. Um, this probably was in there when it was purchased. And it gave me a little bit of an idea of the age of this tool. Um, because on here, it showed the year that this was processed. So let's see where that was. Here it is. So it was revised in January of 1983. So it's probably from the mid 80s and it was made in the USA quality stuff and it actually shows in here the type of router it is and there it is. So this model I have is the 179A and it tells you all of the things that it does there. Um, then there was one that was a 174A. It's the same model but it has a dust collector on it and then there was a more powerful model. So. I offered him $30 for it, and he took it. So then I went back in, and I said, well, what else can I find? And I found this router bits. Um, I said, well, that would be great since I'm buying the router kit. It's all beat up. Um, these were disconnected and kind of falling down. I shot a couple of brads into the side of it uh, when I got home just to kind of secure it. And it's never been used. Uh, it looks really dirty because it was open and all the dust was in there and they probably had a light coat of grease on it to keep it from rusting, but all the blades are brand new. So I made him an offer for $10 for this and I gave him $40 for everything. So tell me what you think. I don't know a lot about routers. Um, I do wanna use, I've used one from time to time, but I'm starting to make more bases for some of the vices I'm mounting and some of the power tools. Uh, bench grinders and whatnot I'm mounting onto wood base. I thought it'd be nice to put an edge on it and I do plan on doing more woodwork. So tell me if you think I got a pretty good deal on this router and bit set and if you have any comments about that or the items on Black Friday if there's anything out there um, that you are buying this Black Friday that you think would be pretty cool share that as well. It's some awesome Milwaukee stuff. Uh, they, it's just stuff like do you need it or do you want it? And that's my wife was kind of like, well, why don't you get it? And I said, I don't need it, but I want it. All right, guys, enough said. Remember, the world has enough guys. Be a man. If you want a channel sticker, TomGunTools at gmail.com. Just shoot me your email address. I'll mail you out one of these. Uh, please like and subscribe. I got a video coming out real soon on some restorations I'm doing, messing around with some plasti dip. So talk to you all soon.